stop very quickly tonight. In Job chapter number 14, verse number 7, the Word of God says, For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again. And that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stalk thereof die in the ground, yet though the scent of the, uh, scent of the water, it will bud and bring uh, forth boughs like a plant. But man dies and wastes away, yet yea, man gives up the ghost. And where is he? As the waters fail, uh, from the sea, and the floods decay and dries up. So man lies down and rises not, till the heavens be no more. They shall awake, uh, 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 nor be raised out of their sleep. Oh, that you would hide in me uh, in the grave, and that you would keep me secret, until your wrath be past, that you would appoint me a set time and remember me. If I die, shall you live again? All the days of my uh, appointed time will I wait till my change come. You shall call and I will answer you. You, sh you will have a desire to work of your hands. For now you number my steps. Do you watch over my sin? My transgression is sealed up in a bag and you sh and show up my iniquity. Amen. Uh, I, I just want to look at that one thought there, even though I continued the passage as it gives thought. Amen. For there is hope for a tree. If it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that its tender uh, shoots will not cease. Amen. Uh, and that its tender branch or shoots, therefore, will not cease. Uh, Job, he is, he's praying here, and he believes uh, that there is more hope for a tree than is for him. Have you ever felt that way? You know, the tree is cut down. There is, there is more hope for a tree than there is for you. Uh, the devil, he's good at convincing people that there's no hope for them. There's no hope for you. You might as well give up. There's no hope for your situation. Uh, he convinces you that there's no hope. But I need to tell you that there is more hope for you, amen, as a child of God than what there is a tree, even though the enemy may want you to think that there's more hope for a tree than what there is for you. Amen. The devil's a liar. He's a deceiver. And uh, 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 I believe this. Uh, you know, the enemy wants you to think that evil is going to prosper and, and the righteous is going to perish. Amen. But the Bible says that God sees every sparrow that falls. And I want you to know if he sees every sparrow that falls, he cares about you. He cares about you. Ecclesiastes 9, 4 says, But for him who is joined to all the living, there is hope. Brother David, you said this recently. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. Amen. Solomon, uh, 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 he is he's saying here, amen. Uh, uh, it's better to have what you have than, than what you think is lost. Sometimes we feel like there can be a lot lost. But when we are connected to a God of all living things, there is hope. There is hope. Amen. What did David say? My soul lies up as quiet in me. Hope thou in God. I just want to breathe hope tonight. That there's hope for our situations. There is hope. And uh, as long as I'm alive, there is hope. As long as my loved one is alive, there is hope. Uh, do you, do you, do you uh, uh, 
you know, we, we think about this. You know, uh, uh, you hear folks say, share the flowers with me, not while I'm dead, but while I'm alive. And uh, some folks, uh, you know, they say, well, I only have one good outfit, and they think they got to save that for the burial day. I say, wear it now while you're able to. Amen. Worship God with that. Amen. There is hope. Take what you have and worship God with it. There is hope. And uh, I like what C.S. Lewis, he said, he said, if, if all of Satan's uh, uh, arsenal of weapons was depleted down to one single thing, amen, the single instrument that he would keep and hold on to would be discouragement. Don't get discouraged in your walk with the Lord. Don't get discouraged in the middle of life. Amen. There is hope. I believe that we're more valuable than the trees, don't you? Amen. So Job said if the tree be cut down, there's hope that it'll get into something and sprout and all, all the boughs come back after. Amen. There is hope. Amen. Even if we fall, I believe that there is a hope. Amen. That God is going to bring forth life in us. Amen. There is hope. In 2 Corinthians 4, 8, the Word of God says, uh, uh, I'm going to paraphrase this, that we can be hard-pressed on every side, yet we won't be crushed. Amen. We can be perplexed, but not in despair. Amen. Uh, uh, therefore, do not lose hope, even though our outward man is perishing, yet our inward man is being renewed day by day. Do you know what we're being renewed day by day with? Amen. A hope that only God can breathe. Amen. There is hope. Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad? We're going to do a song in black light. Amen. That talks about hope coming down at Christmas. Do you know what God was saying when He sent His only begotten Son? Is there is hope for your situation? And yes, I sometimes hate looking at the news. Amen. Because it can become overwhelming. Amen. But I believe as our sister said, we've got to believe this, that hope is about to be birthed. That Jesus Christ is soon to come back. We can't be caught up with the here and now and with our situation. Situations, we got to know that there is hope. Mm -hmm. There is hope. So hold on to that. There is hope. Even if this body is deteriorating, amen, there is good news that one day this body is going to be transformed into a new body. Amen. Do you hear me? He may say, but I'm feeling it in my body, Brother Seville. Amen. Don't lose hope. Amen. Don't be perplexed. Don't be in despair. Amen. One day this body is going to break away to a new body. Amen. And it's not going to be a body that is corruptible. It's not going to be a body that, 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 that will be tempted. It's not going to be a body that, that is affected by sin. But we're going to have a new body. Amen. And the Bible says that far more exceeding and eternal weight and glory. Amen. Uh, we, we look at things that are temporary. Amen. But my hope is not temporary. My my hope is permanent. Amen. There's lots of things in life that are temporary. Our relationships, many of them are temporary. Life is temporary. Our wealth is temporary. Health can be temporary. Amen. Lots of temporary things in life. But we're not to put our eyes upon the temporary, but we're to grab hold of hope, which is not temporary, but it is eternal. Amen. Amen. There's hope. Colossians, the Word of God says, I now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up my in, 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 in the flesh. Amen. I rejoice in my sufferings with you. But I know this. To them God will make known the riches of His glory. Amen. God is about to make known the riches of His glory. Romans 8 and 31 says this, If God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. Who can be against us? 
who shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. Amen. He goes on down to say that nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Can I say to us tonight that Jesus Christ is our everlasting hope. Amen. Let him rise up in your situation. It's easy to get distracted by life and living. Amen. But we're not placed here just to live. But we are placed here to be given a hope that only comes from Jesus Christ. Amen. That far exceeds this temporary. Amen. It is eternal tonight. And that is the hope that you and I live in. And Job had a hundred questions in his life when he went through everything. He went through a great loss. And last uh, Sunday night, I told you this, that here is the evidence and the resurrection, amen, and Easter in the Old Testament. He said, I know that my Redeemer lives, and I shall see Him in this body. But wait a second, Job, your body is racked with pain and sores, and you've lost everything. You're emotionally and physically broken. But Job said, wait a second, but my hope is in Jesus Christ. I shall see him. Amen. Remember, everything that we go through in this life, amen, amen as difficult as it may be, it is only temporary. Amen. And it's going to break away to the eternal hope that is in Jesus Christ. When we shall see him, we shall behold him as he is. And when we see him, we shall be changed. This mortal will put on immortality. And this corruptible will put on incorruption. Amen. We're going to be changed. Amen. Are you holding to hope tonight? Hallelujah. Are you holding to hope? Amen. Paul said this. And I know that we most often use this at funerals. But he said, but I don't want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those which fall asleep, like, lest you suffer, uh, that you, lest you sorrow as others which have no hope. Our lives are different tonight. Simply, Brother David, because we're distinct as children of God, we have hope. That's just where I want to leave you tonight. We have hope. Amen. I want to say this. We have more hope than a tree. For there is hope of a tree that if it be cut down, it will sprout again, and that the temp, temp, uh, tender branch, uh, branches thereof will not cease. We have more hope than a tree. We don't think about all those trees around without us. How many has ever seen a tree cut back so far down here along 209? Man, I thought they killed their tree in very hard. They cut it back so hard, but it still sprouts out. There's a lot of hope for that tree, Brother David. Sometimes you see where a storm comes by and the tree falls, but it continues to live. Brother Doug, you told me that big old tree down here in our yard would still be living. It's been in pretty sad shape for the past couple of years. That tree has a lot of hope. But can I tell you that you and I have more hope than a tree? We don't live as others which have no hope. But we have hope. Any of you ever put a puzzle together before? And you put that puzzle together, and you know, you're putting it together, and you bought it with the idea that if it says a thousand pieces, bless your heart, I hope you're more patient than me, yeah. putting that together, a thousand pieces, you're hoping that when you're done, you'll put a thousand in there. And Brother David, you'll see the beautiful sand that is placed within that puzzle. Most of us here tonight are still putting the puzzle together to see the beautiful future. But the hope is knowing 
that we have all the pieces to complete the puzzle. I want you to know tonight, we do. It's not minus one or two or three, but God has given all the pieces. So let's continue to put the puzzle together, knowing that there is hope. Sometimes we don't understand. Sometimes we don't. But I have hope that all the pieces are there. The Word of God says this, that hope deferred or deflected or rejected or done away with. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. But when hope is given, it is a tree of life. I believe that we can be flourishing trees and that we have more hope than even the tree. I wonder if you'd stand with me all around the sanctuary tonight.